and so you've had a great connection with Laurie and Nelson Mandela in the past, and I know he sort of is a, a lovely embrace around everything that the Springboks do, and he's, he's your number one big fan forever. Um, I know that him and you have you know, been linked together in the journey that you personally have taken from the comments he would have made in the past, and I guess that bond will be with you for the rest of your life now. Yeah, of course, especially when obviously it was first other uh, announcers kept in for the first time, which is a huge, uh, it was heavy on, on me and I uh, struggled quite a lot. As you remember, I struggled the first game against England, I couldn't play the three game, you know, because there was a lot of expe expectation. I mean, every time I went for breakfast, you see the newspaper, it's just my face on it, so I was, it's kind of tough, but then, you know, I'll never compare myself to a great man like that. And, uh, I knew how important rugby was, and we all knew as a team, that's why you know, it's tough to play rugby in South Africa, but it's amazing at the same time because the responsibility is so huge that it can, it's not just a game, you know, we really know what we need to do. I think Coach Russell's um, final speech was on social media the other day, and that's, that I mean, we were ready to play because our country was going through such a difficult time in that period, and he asked us, you know, he never asked us to play. For, for hope and all that kind of stuff, but that day he knew that's exactly what the country needed. And the videos that we saw during the week were like amazing. Seeing people watching the rugby at malls and the taverns and the final, they, they put up big screen for homeless people to watch rugby. So it was, it was more than just rugby. And when we ran out there, we were just, you know, it was full the way to South Africa, not sure it was full of passengers. I thought that we were playing a tournament with it because it was just wild at the stadium. Everybody wearing their white jerseys. And yeah, so since 95, rugby has just been a huge part of South African history. And we work hard each and every day to try and make sure that we don't support the people. You know, you don't know everything, but for how hard you work on it. How's your life changed now as a, as a World Cup winner? When you walked down the street at home, how was it different? Um, yeah, lucky I'm in Manchester now, so it's uh, calmed down a little bit. Um, but um, I must say, it's for me, it's just good for, for people in, in England finally uh, recognizing rugby, and um, I really feel like um, we've, we've broadened it a bit. You know, in fact, say that we've got the right word, um, just for people to recognize that, that we've won. And uh, a lot of love hate relationship with the people from England. Uh, they love me, but they hate me as well. So. Um, um, but it's been good. I'm really enjoying enjoying it, and obviously it's a it's a great achievement. And luckily, I've had the people in in England have, have accepted it as well, and, and they they honestly most of them just say, "Well done, you guys, you deserve it on the day." So it has changed. Where two years ago, nobody would have recognised me anywhere. I could just walk around, do what I want, now I have to uh, have a look around and make sure I'm not uh, causing some trouble. But um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 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 yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, much less they took the him. Going back home is a different story, but um, but uh, no, it's, it's really good. Going forward as world champions, you've almost got a target on your back. Every team you play against, we want to beat them. Um, is, is it a new motivation for you? Do you feel, well, now we're world champions, we're going to stay world champions? I mean, do you feel as motivated as ever, even though you've now had that success? Yeah, for me personally, um, Obviously, I think as South Africans or the Springboks, we always have a target on our backs. We um, we are traditionally a, a great rugby union, and I think for me personally, now being number one, um, I want to stay there, and I think that would probably be most of the team's motivation. Um, we've worked hard to get there. We've achieved it against a lot of odds. Um, so I think for us to, to look forward, that's something that. I personally definitely want to remain number one in the world um, and just for the country. You can't now win a World Cup and then go back to, to square one. So I think um, consistency is definitely needed and I think um, we're already up for it and um, very excited. There's no motivation needed. If you put on that jersey, you, uh, you want to win for your country, you want to win for your parents, for your friends, for your teammates. So um, yeah, I can't wait for the first test of it. And see what's it like being here at Laureus, a lot of famous sports people. Have you, have you seen anyone that you thought, wow, I can't believe I'm seeing them in real life? Yeah, it is amazing like, uh, coming here. Um, like, it's inspiring, you know. Um, a lot of the people here, they really, like what I really like about them, they always do stuff off the field, which is amazing. It encourages us as young sports people to know that we can do so much more than, than, than play sport. And I've seen a couple of people, so it's a girl, um, so careful and I think that I would just 
weil du ähm, Mr. Boris Wetter ist so, und yeah, um, it's, it's, been, it's been really amazing and you know, I really enjoy Boris like this and we, we just want to learn from people and, and, and see like, what it is that makes it special and how long you know, we've been doing this for a very long time as well as us and you know, it's been one but now we want to be consistent and remain there for a very long time and also help out the end. Um, the, the new kids in South Africa that are coming through, make sure we use our platform for good, not only for ourselves, to make sure we can help, and that's why I'm, I'm grateful for to, to even put on the Warriors jacket. You know, and, uh, we just want to do as much as we can to, to try and empower young people because sports speaks in every single language, and we realize that we've seen what is time for us in South Africa. I mean, we're driving through the township with all the kids we never would have seen for us, but now. They allowed everybody to watch the game and there were homeless people watching it and we saw when we were driving one of the poorest areas in South Africa, kids have um, reports saying, I want to be like you one day, which is pretty special. And yeah, and that's what the, the power sport does and yeah, we're hoping that we can keep on doing it and we're really grateful for what lawyers does because it comes to communities where there was never get this opportunity. Just a point about you, I mean, you know, so you talked about wearing the, the Laureus jersey, I mean, a lot of the academy members, they're all retired from sport. Because you're still active, you, you guys have got a great opportunity to, to deliver this message, but on the field and now, not just in history. Yeah, it's, a, it's honestly, it's a massive honor um, to, to sit here and to, to wear the jersey and to be involved with, with the amazing people that's, that's around us. Um, like you said, just the involvement that they have off the field and, and what they do that people don't really see. But they're changing lives every single day, and, and I think that's the one thing that's that's amazing for me about about Laureus is just what they do. And, and people obviously don't don't out there don't know what what's going on behind the scenes, but it's it's massive. And I think, like you said, um, we have the opportunity to hopefully do the same. Um, I think we might have got a, a bit of that, but that's just playing. We need to do more more than just playing. We need to to um, you know, just be an example for kids and um, hopefully help out. Um, I really yeah, have a great love for this, for this, uh, for, for Larius and uh, hopefully going forward I can get more involved into it. That sounds like a great note to leave it. Thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck for your endeavours in the future as well. Ladies and gentlemen, see you next time. Back to the world. Spring World Cup.